So now I got to really wait. So I figured you guys could wait with me. I thought Sean said five, but he, he said six. I went back and checked and he said six, so. I am slightly early. And try to find a, clean my lens off here. Just a tad bit early. Always make sure your lens is nice and clean before you start. You guys see? Oops, I got it turned the wrong way. Does that lens look clean? Here, I'll put this live in the episode. There is YouTube Live. I am officially an hour early. So right now I am just, see that's awful bright. That's too dark. Let's try to find a good happy medium here. So the only bad thing about this camera is the um, iris doesn't, the ISO, It's either too dark or too light. That's bright. Let's just close. See, it looks good when I'm filming outside. But when I'm filming myself, it's like super bright. Let's set this here. Somebody probably thinks I'm doing surveillance. <clears throat> See, that thing needs to focus. It needs to be automatic focus. Oh, you got to touch the screen to automatic focus it. Yeah, so this camera I don't use a whole lot, which I should. To focus it, all you got to do is just tap the screen. Oh, it even says autofocus tap screen. Learn something new every day. I'm going to plug my phone in. Turn my AC on so my phone doesn't overheat.
AC. Turn some AC on. Oops. Last time, I think I was on membership live. My phone overheated. So yeah, we will just hang out here until Rocky and Sean get here. I'm super thirsty and I don't think this is going to work. Although if you guys ever tried this, if you want the same great taste of Mountain Dew without all the carbs and sugars, Mountain Dew Zero tastes just like Mountain Dew, but as you can see, it's got, this video is not sponsored by Mountain Dew. And then I've got some uh, Propel Strawberry Water, Strawberry Lemonade. I think this will be better than the uh, And my coffee is way too hot. We are heading to a family haunting tonight. We were going to take this weekend off, but a case came up that sounded fairly urgent, so we decided to head out on a Sunday night. Got Jerry up in here. Hello, Jerry. We are in Ohio, yes. Actually, the last, I feel like the last three cases have been in Ohio. Which is nice because I'm like literally five episodes, be six episodes after tonight behind. But I've got one, two, three. I've got three finished and one almost done. No passport yet. I'm going to work on that probably tomorrow. So we got Erica from Chillicothe. Got Scott. Our weather is beautiful today. I don't mind flying. I think if we come to Canada, we'll just drive. Depending on, I guess, where it's at in Canada. I don't want to drive for 30 hours. I don't mind flying. It's just when you're dealing with all this equipment, cameras and stuff, you try to keep everything with you. Because the last thing you want to do is get to a case and then your luggage be missing or not show up at the airport. So we try to carry everything with us on our carry-ons. So if anybody's got any tips, if you uh, travel with a lot of filming equipment and stuff, with paranormal equipment, let us know. Because, you know, getting on airplanes, paranormal equipment looks a little sketchy. But a lot of teams do it, so I'm sure airports are used to, like, REM pods and stuff. We do need to come to the UK. Renee doesn't like flying. I 
Thank you, Share666. She just likes making people say 666. Appreciate the donation. Yeah, so next weekend, I don't know if we're heading south, heading north, or staying home to <clears throat> get caught up on editing. So I feel like everything I'll start editing now will be for May, which I still have another month. Let me flip this around. I'll give you some shout outs here real quick. I just don't like my face being right up on the screen. We got Tracy, Terry, they need to come to England, Christine. Melissa, Sherry, Nina, Carol, Love in Alaska, Renee, Crystal, Same Where, LA, Pam, Jennifer, Linda, Kitten K, Kaz, got a lot of people on here from different parts of the world, a lot of people from the UK, must be prime YouTube time in the UK. Czech Republic, Colorado, Florida, Nebraska, yeah, if you go up and down the interstate here, they got signs posted everywhere for people not to park on the side of the interstate, because um, this area through here, up through the county we live is like the best viewing area in the country for the eclipse tomorrow. So a lot of people will be pulling off the side of the road, I'm sure. Hopefully it doesn't cause any major accidents on the interstate, but... We'll never get to see another eclipse as long as we live. I thought we had one a few years ago, but it must have been a different type of the solar eclipse and the, what's the other one they have? It's got to be some space junkies on here that can, 2017 we did lunar eclipse. Now, the other countries, are you guys able to see the uh, solar eclipse, or is it pretty much here in the United States where it's most visible? Nope, all of our schools around here, probably all the schools in Ohio are canceled tomorrow. I imagine pretty much all the schools around the country are canceled tomorrow. You know what I could do? I don't know. If, I don't think it'll ruin your phone, but if you set up like a live during the eclipse and just put it on like a tripod and have it facing the uh, sun, I could probably go live and let you guys watch it. You think that would work? If you think that'll work, give a thumbs up. It'll probably fry my phone. I'll try it. If I have to, I'll go on my roof and put like a tripod. And then when it gets close to the eclipse times, I'll go live and just leave it facing the uh, sun. So probably about four o'clock tomorrow. 
somewhere around then I'll go live. Hopefully it's not a cloudy day and the sun's like behind a cloud during that time. Well, I don't have any filters for my phone. I could put one of those, I could cut one of those glasses up that you wear to watch it and maybe put that, tape it over my uh, phone camera. Yeah, I've got the glasses. I know they said don't like stare directly into the sun when it happens, but. I've been watching Nova and they've been talking quite a bit about it. Cause like, if you look at the moon, like right now or at night, it just looks like a perfect sphere, but it's actually got like all kinds of mountains and caverns and valleys and stuff. So when it's behind this, when it's in front of the sun, that'll all be highlighted and you can actually see that with your eye without using a telescope. I don't know, it'd be pretty neat. I wonder when the next one's gonna come through. I have not been to that part of Florida. Jerry said, protect your animals. We will come to Canada, yes. The hell, somebody say 300 years? 2079. How old would I be in 2079? <clears throat> Pretty sure I won't be here for that one. Moundsville, West Virginia. Love Moundsville. If you're watching this live in 2079, we were here for the 2024 solar eclipse. Just in case YouTube's still around in 2079 and somebody watches this video, they'll see us talking about it. But yeah, if you're watching this video in 2079, I was alive in 2024. Sorry I missed this solar eclipse. Yep, I'll be haunting somebody. <clears throat> Tell you, this coffee is hot, and this coffee tastes like crap. Pretty neat coffee cup, though. Let's see. It looks like a wooden floor, and it tastes like a wooden floor. Yeah, this is not very good coffee. But I'll probably drink it on the way home tonight. I don't know what I did with my... Uh, I had some bracelets. I don't know what I did with them. I love coffee too, but not this coffee. Tastes like if you brewed coffee and then you poured it in your gym shoes, shook it around real good and poured it back in your cup and put it in the microwave for about 65 minutes. That's what this coffee tastes like. 
It's way too hot and it tastes like crap. Yeah, you probably see orbs behind me. I got dust in my car. I need to clean my van. Somebody said they'll be 96, so they'll still be here. Not quite for sure when rocking. Sean's coming. I was thinking the case was supposed to start at 5 o'clock. I was supposed to start shooting interviews, but Sean said, well, we're not supposed to be there till 6. And I went back and checked our messages, and he told me, Last night it was six o'clock, so my wife was thinking five o'clock. Maybe I was thinking I needed to leave at five, I don't know. So I'm just hanging out in the gas station for an hour. trying to read some comments. I feel like when I'm trying to read comments, I look like I'm awkwardly staring into the camera. But I'm not. I'm just reading comments. Tennessee. Let's see here. Peppermint tea is divine. A lot of people are saying they'll be over 100 years or close to 100 years old when the next eclipse comes. Was that Stephen? <clears throat> nope. Shane. Shane, we run on a very tight budget, so you got to think we spent the first 15. 16 years before we ever made a dime off of YouTube. So we were working, you know, throughout the week. A lot of times we were working on the weekends. And anytime we had a weekend off, we would go out and investigate and film. So we were always eating at like Taco Bell value menu and sleeping in rest areas and truck stops and all that stuff. So we grinded for the first, I'd say, 16, 17 years. So we pretty much just stay, you know, none of us. I'd say when we go out and, like, we film and we investigate and stuff, we're on the road, we're, we're definitely, like, budget conscious. I think that's just from, like, never having like a bunch of money to spend so you're just in that mind frame if that makes sense <clears throat> yep we started on youtube it was never um we never set off to do this youtube was just one thing where we would put up like little short crappy videos and get feedback from people that would help us understand what we were dealing with and um, people kept asking questions actually one of our very first videos we put on youtube went viral now we're talking all the way back in like 2005 2006 maybe and um it got close to half a million views which back then was real good i mean half a million views still today is good but uh for a video to get half a million views in a couple weeks and people wanted to know like they wanted to see more of the investigation and they wanted to see more of the um history 
uh, with the family or whatever. So that's kind of how things got started was just you guys, the viewers, wanting to see more. Um, we knew like nothing about investigating. We knew nothing about filming, editing, any of that stuff. So like our videos from back in like 2006 are like cringy. I think that's what my daughter said. Cringy was the word she used. But what I was telling her is if you go back, like saving like Mr. Beast, if you go back and watch his early videos, I mean, everybody's videos when like YouTube was first launched were pretty much crappy. Nothing like you see today. So I guess we were all crappy together. So that's kind of how things got started is people wanted to, and then like back then we didn't even know you could like make money on YouTube. I don't even know if people made money on YouTube back then. So that was like never, it was just something that, you know, people wanted to see more of. So we just started sharing more of it. It was all in a fairly raw form. Um, and it wasn't until then we started getting excited about like the whole editing process and you know trying to make stuff look somewhat professional and just kind of learned you know if I needed to figure something out I would jump on YouTube and watch like a tutorial on how to do things so because we started I mean literally like when we first started investigating all of our videos were filmed. We had one camcorder, one small camcorder. I think we bought off eBay for like $130. And it recorded to, do you guys remember the small mini videotapes that went in the camcorders? That's what we used to film on. So like SD cards weren't even a thing back then. And then um, our DVR system was hooked into a VCR. So we, could, we recorded all that stuff on VHS tapes. So yeah, we were very low budget. But that's how we started. We had a camcorder, we had a voice recorder. We had no, there was no alarms, nothing like that back then. You literally either caught it on video or you caught it on a voice recorder. And now there's just all kinds of alarms and different equipment and the apps, the voice recorders. I mean, even spirit boxes, they weren't a thing back then. And I believe we started like the same time we started investigating was the same year that Ghost Adventures put out their documentary in that ghost town. And they hadn't even had a TV show yet. It was just like a one-off documentary of those three investigating. There were no... I don't even think, I'm trying to think if there was any paranormal shows on TV back then. I know Paranormal State wasn't on TV back then. I don't even think like Ghost Hunters, you guys would have to search it. I don't even think Ghost Hunters was like on TV back then. I would almost say we were probably one of the original paranormal teams on YouTube. I mean, there may have been other ones on there prior to that, but we literally started like pretty much when YouTube was launched. So I couldn't imagine there was a whole bunch of paranormal teams on there. And I don't think it was like till like 2008, 2009, when you started to see an influx of paranormal teams on YouTube. And nowadays, it's like everybody, like, there's just so many paranormal channels on YouTube now. So YouTube's definitely changed quite a bit over the years. I do watch Ghost Adventures. I think more from, like, a... Uh, the uh, production value of it. I think it's a well-produced show. Obviously, probably one of the best running paranormal shows on TV because they're, I think they're the only ones still out there. And plus, they're always using like the newest, the latest equipment. Um, 
The House Calls, I think that's an all right show. It could have probably been done better. I mean, I think if like Zach went in, I don't know. The whole show just feels different without having him there present, I guess. Yep, really haunted. I think that one's still on, isn't it? Some of those shows, like in the UK, we just don't get over here that I'm aware of. Yeah, Jackie, Ghost Adventures has definitely changed over the years. I definitely prefer the old school. Ghost Hunters was 2004. I did not know that. So Ghost Hunters was probably an actual TV show before Ghost Adventures became a TV show. Misty, I only watch Paranormal Nightmare and Paranormal Files. <clears throat> Hey, look who we got next to us. Yeah, I'll go over there with you. I don't want to get anything, but you guys can eat. We can run over there. You got time to kill. Where's it at? Oh. Okay. The boys are back in town. They scared the shit out of me. I thought I was getting robbed. Probably because if I got robbed live... That'd be better than getting, like, randomly robbed when you're not live. What do you guys think? I think Sean wants Wendy's. Sean wants a junior bacon cheeseburger. I don't know if he's watching live. He's probably smiling. Sean, if you want a junior bacon cheeseburger, give me a thumbs up. They don't even, they're on the road. They don't even watch my live when I'm live. You think they would watch. Silly uses. I should let Sean try my coffee. Tell him, say, this is the best freaking coffee I've ever had in my life. <clears throat> I'm going to do that. We'll see if he enjoys my coffee as much as I do. Okay, don't park in a bright area because you're gonna blow out my camera. See, when you're filming, you also have to look where you park because you don't want like horrible lighting. I can do drive through get this ham range or if you want to park and just jump in with us. Okay. Park right here. Okay, let me park real quick. We'll let Sean try my coffee. <clears throat> Although I don't like leaving my car here because I got a bunch of camera equipment in here. One second.
try this coffee. Where'd you get it from up here? Yeah. You got creamer in it? Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Try this. This is, what the heck is that coffee? That's a new coffee right there. That one's pretty good. Yeah. You don't like my coffee? That's nasty. What is that? Oh, it's from that freaking gas station right there on 49. Oh, I'd be dumping that out. Something ain't right with that. Well, it was 600 degrees, so I figured if there was any bacteria in it or... Uh, I'll get you a fresh coffee. I'd dump that out, seriously. I, there ain't no way I would drink that. There ain't no coffee that's supposed to taste like that. That you want to try it, Rocky? No. That don't even have words. No. Seriously, dump that crap out. I'll get you a fresh coffee. I'll give you this coffee. Oh, it doesn't look good either. Let me see it. Hold on. Oh, my gosh, Josh. Oh, it's oh, good mold and shit on it. Oh, my God. It's not supposed to look like that. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Does anybody want anything? They made it? Just get me a large coffee. Ah, uh, no. Um, oh, okay. Probably explain it tastes like shit. Oh my gosh, <laughs> You know I'm allergic to penicillin, right? Hmm? You know I'm allergic to penicillin. <laughs> oh, my power, you get sick. Sean, how you doing? What can I get for you today? Um, can I get two large black coffees? I'm out of coffee right now. Oh, oh okay. That's all right. You guys want something else? I'm queso good. Queso fry. Uh, can I get a queso fry? Large. Is it a day single? Uh, no, a large queso fry. We're out of queso fry, so I apologize. Holy shit, they're out of everything. 1669. Okay. Um, I have bacon enterprise. Do you want one of them? I don't want to eat meat. Oh, Take the bacon right. off of it. Oh. Um, just give me. Just give me uh, Dave's uh, single. You want the combo or just the sandwich? Sir? Yeah, combo's fine with a uh, medium Coke. Combo with medium Coke? Yeah, please. Everything on the Dave single? Yeah. And that'll be it. Right. I've been drinking that coffee for like an hour. Are you serious? You didn't even open it up? Thank you. I just, I didn't think about opening it up and looking at it. I just thought this coffee tastes like crap. Dude, once I took one sip of that, there ain't no way you... Uh-uh. So this Wendy's is out of Everything. fries. Everything. They're out of coffee. What else were they out of? I think that was it that I asked for. Hamburger meat. Probably. They, they have no chicken nuggets. Josh, I'm starting to like get the shakes now. Why? Right from taking a sip of that You only coffee. took one drink of the coffee. It's not going to kill you. If anybody's going to die, it's going to be me because I've been drinking the shit for an hour. Who the hell? Oh, my what? God. Cold you, you, didn't, you didn't pour the coffee yourself? No, that machine poured the coffee for you. Oh. You, you didn't put creamer in it, right? Yeah. You did? But it was fine. It looked fine. I mean, maybe there's a creamer. Yeah, he said, how you doing? Alrighty, how you doing? doing? The creamer. Creamer. Yeah, I'd say the right. creamer was bad. No, because when the coffee came out, I remember it came oh, out thank like... Thank you. want a free spray today? You want a free spray? Right yeah, yeah we'll sure. Time. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate that. I remember when the coffee came out, it was like super, super, super dark. I was like, well, this is weird looking, but yeah. I gotta get the part, yeah. Hey, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you, guys. You. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You want me to run over to the gas station so you can go in and get coffee? No, you leave park by my car. We can always come back here. I want somebody to swipe on my of our cameras.
Yeah, like the whole bunch of stuff. I need a place to put my. Here, I'll hold it. Got to open some mail. Fan mail, fan mail. Rock, you see, you'll have to hold it like that. Okay. We got a bunch Maybe of uh, like this. York peppermint patties. We love York peppermint patties. We're just hold it like that instead of trying to hold it. Because I love sending you all some random shit. Gotta say what you like so I have more ideas from Jamie Berg. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Bye. Jamie. Punch it. I like it. I don't need a knife. I saw it from the one I Can Josh open the gifts faster than Sean? I'm trying to see who it was from. Oh, oh this is from Jamie Berg as well. I am a volunteer firefighter and veteran. So I had to support this business from Jamie Berg. Thank you, Jamie Berg, and thank you for your service. Thank you, Jamie. We have a first aid kit, MedPath. You guys can see that. Thank you, Jamie. Y'all definitely needs out. And we have some Skull Crusher Espresso. That looks like some kick-ass coffee. Yeah, I may need this uh, medical kit later on tonight if this coffee <laughs> kicks in. Thank you, Jamie Berg. Thank you. And we have Sean's apple pie. <laughs> in case you want to do a... That's what that lady does. Is there an apple pie in it? Yeah, there's an apple pie in it. Well, it's in it. Let's see. This is... See, Josh is already going to need it. This is from Jamie Berg. Thank you, Jamie. Thank you, Jamie. You're sending all kinds of stuff. We got on the road. You guys see that? Toothpaste, toothbrushes. That come in really handy. These will come in handy because we're always leaving the hotel and going to Walmart and getting toothpaste and stuff. Empty. Uh, I think there's a card. Yeah, a little card. Mm -hmm. card right that should be right down there. Let's try to see who this is. Uh, oh, that's my mom. I don't know. Who is this from? I think it's, uh, oh, I can't remember her name now. Sorry. Was it Cindy? Does that sound familiar? I don't know. Got it. That's sweet. It says Sean, Josh, and Rocky on the bottom. Cool. Thank you. It's really cool. And in the back of it. It must, must be... We ghosting. Whoever sent these shirts, I'm trying to find the name. What's that? But it don't say her actual name on there. It's all no, maybe he sent me. Sin Sheba. Not for sure what your actual name is, but thank you so much for the uh, t-shirts. Thank you. Really cool. We appreciate it. even got the right sizes so mm -hmm. so thank you guys it should be a, a, a card somewhere oh, right there. this is from Tammy Skamika hope I pronounce that right from Lancaster, Ohio. 
We've done a lot of filming in Lancaster. Tammy needs the sizes of our t-shirts. He asked me, my husband would really like to meet the three of you, Josh, Rocky, and Sean. You three are my favorite YouTube because your videos are helping families. Bring joy to my heart. Have a great day and be safe out there. Please send me your sizes. I really want to do this for the three of you. Thank you, Tammy. Thank you, Tammy. It is medium, large, extra large, right? Yep. Tell your husband we said hi. Tell your husband we all said hi and thank you for watching and your support. Okay, let me take this. Yeah, it's uh, Cindy Rogers. Josh. Cindy Rogers. Yep. Thank you, Cindy Rogers, for the t-shirts. I knew the name, I thought the name Cindy was gonna be. Yeah. What time are we heading there? Uh, it says arrival time here, like nine minutes, or I mean with nine till. So it's only six minutes away, so. I mean, I'm sure if we wanted to go right now and be fine. Okay. So everybody, we're going to get ready to head over to the case, start the interviews, and then um, let me get this off here. Push this off up right here. We'll see if I survive after drinking all that coffee. That ain't no kidding. If you guys want to say bye to See y'all later. Bye. Thank make, you. Make sure if you haven't watched, go check out uh, well, yesterday or wait Friday's minute, Friday's episode. Keep forgetting what day we're on right now. Not used to filming on Sunday nights. I'm back. Okay, everybody, have a good weekend. I'll um, try to do that tomorrow for the solar eclipse. I think that's it. Wish us luck. Hopefully we'll get this family some answers and help tonight. Pray for Josh. Yeah, pray for my health after drinking that coffee. <laughs> I may, I don't want to miss the solar eclipse, so. Yeah. We'll see. I may not have to worry about the 2079 one. See you guys. Bye. Bye.